Part four, final part of my 2024 trend report. It's kind of become just uh, Luke pushing an agenda report, but what's the difference between a trend and an agenda if they all come to fruition? A trend is a self-fulfilling prophecy when you're a tastemaker and a trendsetter like me. How much of these things that Vogue is pushing are things that Anna Winter likes versus just things that are just part of the zeitgeist? And then like, it's a chicken and the egg thing, which came first, which didn't. That's a whole nother discussion to have. We're just talking about the actual trends themselves. That's, that's what I'm getting at. All right, should we just get into it? Yeah. All right, baby iPhone, smallest possible iPhone. And he, he's he been running the baby iPhone. We were arguing about this a second ago. I can't have the smallest possible iPhone because we do so much amazing video content. If you live a life of leisure, you should have the baby iPhone. Or maybe like your personal phone can be the baby iPhone. But when you're running big business like me, I don't think Elon, Elon probably got an Android, but God forbid Elon does have an iPhone. He's running the big iPhone so he can take videos and selfies and shit. It's all about the camera. If they, if they could put the good camera in a, 17 uh, terabyte hard drive in the maybe iPhone, I would run it. All right, next one, dainty little vintage watches. I don't got a watch on right now, but this big 41 millimeter, 40 millimeter shit is dead. You want little baby vintage watches with like the nice strap, you know, maybe like a little gold band. You could even maybe run like a larger woman's watch, but that's the future. That's what's gonna have the most upside in this next year. I talked about it before, I think, like vintage watches are for New York when vintage cars are for LA. And I think both those things are kind of bleeding into the opposite city, but Breguet, Vacheron, Cartier, maybe like a Cellini Rolex or an Air King. Piaget, I think you pronounce it. Shit like that. Next one, big agenda, but also Din was pushing the same agenda, little tiny shorts. I've been running tiny shorts forever, but the shorts from this past season are smaller than like anything I've ever even worn. Like to the point where you have to wear like briefs with it. What are your thoughts on hog slippage? What are the procedures for that? I think you just gotta get like good boxers or boxer briefs or briefs that like hold everything in place. Because you know, sure like, Yes, it may be an accident, but if you do it for the wrong person, it's a fucking sex crime. <laughs> All right, next one. <laughs> so I think Baggy's about to be out at the like, middle end of next year. I think real skinny's coming back in. Not like real, like pretty skinny. You know, like as we move back towards blog era shit, people are gonna be wearing those fucking like scarves. People are gonna be wearing beanies with brims. Like there's a lot of blog era nastiness coming back around as fashion gets nastier and just we, we digress as a society. All right. Next one, this is one I've been on. Weird variations of like Timberlands or Yettas, you know, like I got the 424 ones right now. I had the fucking LV ones. Timberlands are a classic and Tim's are good, but I think you want like the freakiest version of that thing that you can find, whether it be like the glazed Vanita Carter ones. I'm still looking for eight and a half, hint, hint. Some like the freaky, like shiny off-white, like velvet ones. The fucking Givenchy ones go crazy. That's just the tip of the iceberg for the Yetta cinematic universe. There's so much more you can get into, but that color and silhouette is timeless and classic. You just gotta find a way to be as freaky as possible in that realm. What else? Jaeger instead of Fernet. Jaeger is for the thinking man. Fernet is for, you know, service industry savages. Fernet, it's too abrasive. It's too fucking minty. Jaeger's got a nice sweet taste to it. It kind of accomplishes the same thing. You can do a Jaeger bomb. They have the chilled Jaeger things at the bar. Like there's so much more upside to Jaeger than Fernet. The only upside of Fernet is like getting a nod from a bartender or like maybe settling your stomach. But really in practice, like if I'm drunk enough to feel like I need Fernet, it, it's like too late. It never helps. It, I mean, Jaeger is for the refined palate. Like let's be honest. I agree, Jaeger is for scholars. They talk about like the enlightenment. And they're like in those absinthe bars, drinking absinthe and shit. I think they're probably also drinking Jaeger. And I think modern day enlightenment period is people sitting in a bar drinking Jaeger, talking about, you know, this and that. Last one. This is a big one. Watch the throne core. Look at him. I put him onto this actually. Givenchy TC in noir shit, you know, like fucking uh, Balmain, leather skirts, older Rick. Watch the throne core is coming back crazy that might be like my biggest actual trend report of the next year i think is like that's what's going to be really big is fucking everyone's going to dress like yay and ho from like 2012. people will really like aspire to be like that because it's like the last time that like i don't want to say it's the last time fashion was like super unique and cutting edge but i still think that like the balenciaga of today and all the freaky shit people are on is like bleed over from that. That's kind of like the progenitor of all the freaky fashion that's going on now. Obviously silhouettes change, materials change, small things change, but like it all kind of started with like 
that. And also if you look at like how much like leather and shit is in vogue right now, everyone was wearing like all leather back then you know, leather SLPs, like leather skirts. And the other thing too is like a lot of people who, or the people who like really kind of push that look, whether it be like Rocky, Yay, Hove, like those people are still prominent and still in the limelight. So it's not like dressing like fucking MOP from the 90s, you know, like, I guess what I'm getting at is those people are still famous and are still regarded highly in the world, right? You know how Drake's like dressing in FUBU and shit. Anyone who was famous, famous back then wearing that shit, you could walk by them in the street and not really recognize who they are probably nine, nine times out of 10. I think the Watch the Throne Corps shit is still aspirational to people. I also wanna say that the person who was probably the most influential was Curtains, but he's just a calm family man now. But shout out Curtains, he'd be coming in here. That's all, but I've given you all a lot of game for this year. I'm sure I'll give you all more next year, but maybe I won't. Maybe you gotta pay for it. Maybe you'll be paywalled. So enjoy this last definitely free trend report because who knows what's gonna happen in 2024, 2025. We're locking this shit up behind a Patreon, bro. That's what, what I'm saying. I need my Super Lukes, which is $65 a month to tap in and get this fucking good shit off me. <laughs>